Good afternoon. This is Charlie with Only PVC Pyramids. Thank you for watching. Uh, today's video is going to be entitled Revisiting the Copper versus PVC Pyramid Energy Experiment. Uh, for those of you who have, may have seen this uh, previous version of this video, uh, about three months ago we did a study where we used the Lecker antenna as the basis for determining the difference in the energy fields between a similarly sized and constructed PVC versus copper pyramid. And in that study, we found that uh, as expected from the Russian research and really all, virtually all other research that we have seen, that a, a base metal such as copper is going to perform uh, much more poorly than a non-conductive material such as PVC pipe or wood. And in this case, we use PVC pipe. Well, this uh, video has taken on kind of a life of its own, uh, the previous one. Uh, I, I'm amazed that uh, each day uh, more and more people are watching it. So the good news is that shows that there's a lot of interest in pyramids and uh, the results of this kind of research. It's up over 41,000 views now, which uh, far and away exceeds the uh, volume of any of the other videos that I've done on solid torsion field research. But nonetheless, uh, although the, uh, the pro uh, likes to dislikes button is running about 10 to 1 for the likes, there are a number of people who have had two major comments uh, about the video that we wanted to address today in a subsequent uh, revisit of that experiment. And the first one of those is uh, a, a theory that's put forth that copper pipes going into non-conductive connectors are ruining uh, a, a circuitry of some sort that, that might have an impact on uh, the field. Now, of course, this is in con contradiction to, to what the research would indicate, but uh, in the interest of honest science, uh, you know, I wanted to do this and redo it for those people who think that that is a flaw in the experimentation process. So after seeing this a number of times, uh, one of the viewers wrote in, uh, I think it was last Sunday, and said, uh, why don't you go get some conductive uh, copper tape and tape the pipes together around each of the corners and the top. And so that's what I did uh, last Sunday. I put out a comment that I was going to be doing this video again. And uh, Saturday now we've had time to put it together. We actually did this on Wednesday. We tested it and so we knew what the results were going to be before we started. However, we didn't have a chance to do this until today. So we're going to be seeing the results of that uh, experiment here in a few minutes. Uh, and, uh, you know, as we had expected, it's going to show that uh, connecting the uh, copper uh, pieces of pipe together with the conductive copper uh, wire didn't do anything to enhance and may have actually uh, decreased the effectiveness of that pyramid relative to what we were seeing in the first video. However, with that said, uh, if there are any of you out there who actually have some data uh, that would prove uh, or, or, or you know counter the, the research that we're doing here, we would love to hear from you. This is not a uh, this is actually a, a, a study to try to uh, find the best uh, building materials and geometry. We're starting with the Russian pyramid geometry, but we are open to uh, any and all ideas and uh, suggestions. And that's the reason we've done this video again today. The second major reason for concern in the uh, piece is the instrument that we are actually using for the detection of the energy fields, namely the Lecker antenna itself. And I understand that a lack of, of familiarity or, uh, I hate to use the, the term ignorance, but ignorance just means you don't know. There's a lot of ignorance about the uh, uh, Lecker antenna in the United States because uh, it's used primarily in Europe and in India, are the two major uh, places in the world where this is very popular. Uh, and so there's not much information. I have sold a Lecker antenna in the past, but have never been able to, uh, or, or felt ethically co uh, comfortable with selling it because there's no real uh, way for people to get educated on the Lecker antenna. I was selling uh, books that helped with that, but uh, my significant other 
uh, who does this is a, is a holistic dentist and a naturopath, and she has taken a number of courses in New York City to learn this uh, from some uh, physicians who were running courses on the medical uh, use of this. But there's not much information about it available on the internet. However, with that said, uh, for those of you who believe that this is still some sort of a magic wand or a, a dowsing tool and so forth and, and you know, are, 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 are skeptical because you don't know about it, I thought I'd bring to your attention that uh, the Lecker antenna was featured in a recent Netflix documentary that came out about three weeks ago called Root Cause. It's a, 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 a video about dentistry. Uh, although my significant other does not agree with the conclusions about root canals that are in the documentary, uh, there is a segment that starts at about 29 minutes and 30 seconds into the video that demonstrates the use of the Lecker antenna in a clinical setting uh, for medical research purposes. And so hopefully if those of you who are still skeptical about the instrument uh, will go view that documentary, it will help to allay some of your concerns uh, that this is something that's non-scientific. And finally, on that score, uh, I am getting, a, because of that and because of uh, my videos in general, I get a lot of informa requests, information requests about the Lecker antenna. And what I've been doing is having to turn people away because there's no one to teach them. What I'm calling out for today, and I'm going to do it in a separate video as well, uh, I'm not trying to make money off of this. I'm trying to connect people who have a sincere desire to learn the Lecker antenna and to be able to use it in the United States. I'm trying to connect them up with someone who knows it, knows how to use it, and would be willing to teach it. So if there's anyone out there who you know of that's hearing this directly, send this video to your friends. Or if you're listening directly, please contact me at onlypvcpyramids at yahoo.com. I would love to be able to offer the viewers of my uh, videos uh, the ability to learn the, the Lecker antenna and to use it in their medical practices or in other aspects of their lives. So with that, we're going to move on to the results. Again, as I say, I'm sorry to say to all the folks who thought that putting the uh, conductive tape would, would be of assistance. It turned out not to be, but I want you to see it for yourself, and we'll be back in a moment with the results. Okay, we're ready to uh, do our demonstration now to uh, review. Uh, in a previous video, we had uh, checked the energy of both the copper and the PVC pyramids. And the reason for this video is uh, to uh, study the thesis that was presented by many viewers that uh, putting conductive tape on all of the uh, uh, edges of the pyramid was necessary in order to complete a circuit of electricity. So what we've done, uh, I bought a roll of copper uh, conductive tape and I put that around the top uh, four pieces of um, copper piping that were going into the top of the pyramid. And I've done the same thing on each of the four bottom uh, connections on the pyramid as well. And this is um, uh, essentially duplicating the circuitry that would be involved were we to be using uh, copper connectors. So with that as a background, we're going to start the, uh, the study now, but we're going to first do the energy fields of the PVC pyramid. And again, we're using 17.6 on the Lecker antenna, which is the frequency of universal energy. So as we start now, we see the uh, antenna going down about one third of the way down the pyramid, just as it had before. Uh, when the antenna moves in the downward direction, it indicates the presence of the energy field. So we can see again all around the pyramid about one third of the way down and about in the center is the optimum location of the energy field uh, in the PVC pyramid. Now we'll go over and uh, test the copper pyramid. Once again, we put uh, copper conductive tape on all of the uh, four corners, five corners, 
of the pyramid. As you can see, uh, no presence of the energy field uh, is being detected by the Lecker antenna until you get very, very far down uh, the pyramid, and then it's only a very small uh, energy field detection. We're testing all four sides. And again, only once you get to the very bottom of the pyramid are you finding uh, the presence of any energy fields. And in fact, those fields may be a function of things that might be underneath the floor. We're not sure. Testing in the center of the pyramid, once again, we're finding that the energy field um, is really not there until you uh, get to the very bottom of the pyramid. So once again, we've demonstrated that the PVC pyramid energy fields are much more robust even when we have um, uh, used copper conductive wire to make an electrical circuit on all of the four or five corners of the pyramid. Thank you so much for watching, and you have a great day.